What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master here back on this uh, finally Friday, March 17th, 2023. It's about 12.50 p.m. here along the West Coast. And latest earthquake activity shows a 4.8 over here around the Philippines, just south of there into the Philippine Trench. Notice uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity ramping up here across North Island, New Zealand. Let's go ahead and check this out here. Uh, USGS map only shown a couple earthquakes here. We'll get to the uh, EMSC uh, and GeoNet server map here in a second to show the uh, the further quakes going on here. But we did have a 5.3 coming in uh, early this morning. That was um, it was actually a 4.8. It looks like prior to that 5.3, same location, um, North Island, New Zealand, about 10 kilometers deep. Now it looks like there is definitely a good swarm of activity kicking up here across the area uh, according to the uh, GeoNet servers there is some of those magnitudes coming in uh, these are the felt reports so we need to go to the all magnitudes here and I'm sure that's going to bring up the number even more uh, it looks like all these quakes happening within the same area and roughly about the same depth there of the uh, two prior larger quakes uh, so quite a bit of activity ramping up here um, Trying to think here when we've seen the last major earthquake up there. Not for sure if this is, uh, well, it looks like it may be around volcanoes here. Let me see what's going on here for satellite imagery. Real quick. Um, not for sure exactly what's up there. Maybe potentially one over here. Uh, let me see what's going on here. Back out and go to the volcano uh, bulletin. See if anything's changed here. That was last week, two months ago. Nothing uh, being listed up here from the GeoNet servers. Uh, the volcanic drums, let's see if we can pinpoint this. Goodness. Um, I don't know if that's earthquake activity or what's going on there. That looks like that may be a little bit overblown. Uh, but some of that activity is being picked up here across the uh, Mayor Island here, right around the vicinity of that uh, earthquake activity again very shallow earthquake movement happening there across new zealand and it's hard to see what's going on when this is so overblown and um, just basically it's just garbled up can't really see uh, so we have to look at some nearby stations uh, to get a little uh, hint of what's going on far as seismic activity goes that could be volcanic tremor i'm not for sure um, it's hard to tell but there's definitely quite a bit of earthquake activity ramping up here um, across the region of New Zealand from that uh, five-pointer and the previous four-pointer. Now, let's go over here to the uh, earthquake drums and see what we got going on here across the area. Uh, more specific up around our region here. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, this one's showing a little bit more seismic activity within that location, roughly around... I'm thinking this station right here looks to be about the closest. So there's a good handful of earthquakes popping off here across the North Island, New Zealand within the last few hours. So be on guard. Um, it's hard to say if there's been a main quake or not uh, with this type of setup. 4.8 and then uh, just a short time later, a few minutes later, a 5.3. Uh, so that tells me I don't think it's done yet. Of course, remember we did see the... Um, uh, we did see some larger activity upstream here along the Kermadec Trench two days ago. That seven-pointer uh, looks as though the plate may be making some adjustment down here or getting ready to make some adjustment, um, you know, considering all the activity we've seen out on the Chat Chatham Rise area, the Chatham Islands. They did see some activity there uh, a few days ago. All around New Zealand's looking quite interesting, including this activity today, so we'll keep an eye on that area for... Uh, some potential further movement. Uh, the EMSC model, let's see what we got here for data as we zoom in down here across the New Zealand area. Uh, stand by here for just a second, it's hard to tell. There we go. Um, this will give us a little total tally of the quakes and it looks like uh, 27 earthquakes listed on this map. Most of them looks to be in the last hour or last 24 hours, and there's quite a bit here, as you can see, um, popping up. North Island, New Zealand. Yeah, there's quite a bit. I would say there's way more than, than um, 
27, but maybe the 27 is within the last um, six hours, I'm guessing here, according to this map. Uh, either way, definitely some activity ramping up here. We'll continue to watch this New Zealand area here for some movement. Uh, seeing a train of activity across the area today, and including some activity across the Java Trench regions this morning, a 5.0. I know we had another earthquake out here uh, across the area. Let me see where that one's at. Uh, that one was up a little bit further north into um, USGS reporting it. Yes, they are up into the China region early this morning, about three o'clock or so for that 5.1. So things are uh, definitely ramping up out here in terms of earthquake activity across Philippines here. Got some movement kicking off here as well this morning and yesterday. Quite a few fours and fives. Uh, nothing yet up here around the Kuro Kamachaka Trench. That's uh Goodness, <laughs> it's all too quiet there. Uh, another 4.8 looks like coming into the area of the Philippines. This is just a cluster of earthquakes today across the area of the Philippines south into Indonesia. Um, with, as I mentioned, a little bit of activity on the Java Trench and up into China, but that still leaves a huge gap, seismic gap here across the Sumatra area northward. So we'll continue to watch that region as well. And of course, you've been listening to me for quite a while. I mentioned the Kuro Kamachaka Trench. This is a major player in some large earthquakes. Uh, doesn't take hundreds and hundreds of years to build up enough strain for a large earthquake. Uh, and it's been a while since we've seen any major movement here along the Kuro Kamachaka Trench. Of course, 9.0 uh, back in Japan, 2000. Uh, 2011, right? If I remember right. Times just slip it on by. Older you get, the faster it goes by. That's kind of scary. Uh, West Coast activity. We did have things ramping up up here as well. Um, or over here, I should say. So movement off the coast of Oregon into the Blanco Fracture Zone. Uh, just prior to the Cascadia Subduction Zone. They've seen a 4.3 about 1 o'clock this morning. And also a little bit of activity here at the very southern end of the Cascadia Mega Thrust area. These two earthquakes relatively shallow, uh, about six or seven kilometers deep for a 2.4 and a 1.9, literally within seconds of each other. So things are still kind of on watch out here, folks, for the West Coast. I have a feeling this is all brewing up to something today. Uh, earthquake activity yesterday around Eastern Oregon was kicking up as well, had some twos and threes out um, there's probably some uh, some ancient volcanoes out here, I'm guessing. Uh, these are relatively uh, sporadic depths there of the earthquakes from zero kilometers down to about nine kilometers or so. Uh, so things are a little bit on the uh, interesting side out here across the west coast. Up in uh, Washington, not a whole lot going on. A couple small earthquakes. Uh, let's see, northern California. Aside from this movement up here, we got our typical activity across Clear Lake. Uh, volcanic field with the Calpine hydrothermal operations there and a little bit of activity south of the bay nothing major going on let me see what we got for 2.5 uh, one 2.6 just after midnight off the central California coast this area has been showing well some interesting activity out here over the past week or so along a couple of these uh, Pacific plate fault systems here. Of course, the plate boundary is going to be this darker red line. That is the San Andreas Fault, and uh, uh, there's been a lot of area pr uh, previous or prior to the plate boundary, so keep an eye still on California. Uh, 1.6 just south of the Garlock, sh uh, Garlock Fault Shear Zone. Looks like about 10 kilometers deep or so. A little bit of movement to the northeast as well, right smack dab on it. Uh, let's see what that one is. Looks like a 1.4 early, early this morning. All right, uh, extreme Southern California. Uh, looks a little bit more active today than past few days here, but uh, nothing major. No no uh, major swarms kicking off here across the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault for now. Just some small microquakes across the area of the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Either way, keep an eye on the North American and Pacific Plate boundary today. Uh, across the area of Texas, Oklahoma, and uh, Nebraska. Of course, they've seen that earthquake last night up there in Nebraska, 2.9. Nothing big, just some smaller quake activity up there. And uh, across the uh, Appalachian Mountains here, we did see a 1.8 earlier um, in the evening last night. 
see what else we got here across the Puerto Rico region. Uh, let's see. Most of the activity looks as though it's uh, around this warming area today, which is around here in the southern end of the Puerto Rico area. Some, uh, some movement up here from last night and earlier yesterday down into the South America region. Not a whole lot popping off here yet. Uh, let me see what we got. Uh, some activity off the uh, Colombia region, it looks like. Uh, Ecuador, Colombia area. Do have one 4.3 into the Peru area listed up here on the map. But as you can see, there's quite a bit more earthquake activity listed on the EMSC model here across the Peru-Chile Trench today. Uh, some smaller ones, but still a little bit of earthquake activity ramping up here across the region and the Middle America Trench. Uh, and this is basically just the last 24 hours of earthquake activity. Goodness, it's been a while since I've seen things look like this in a 24-hour period. Uh, all up and down the plate boundary here across the North American Pacific Plate. Uh, things are ramping up down south as well. Um, goodness, I, I, you know, we still need to keep an eye up here. Curl come Chaka Trench. Eventually, it's going to move in a big fashion. Uh, we do have a little bit more activity over here across. Um, what do we got here? 4.7 coming in. Let's see exactly where that's at. China area coming in uh, within the last hour or so i believe 1819 so that's going to be uh yeah about two hours ago hawaii out here looks like um kilauea volcano showing a little bit of activity at the crater area 1.9 and 2.0 within the last hour very shallow earthquake activity most of the movement uh, today looks like around the pahala area up north to alaska see what we got going on here a little bit of activity across the gulf of alaska region here the plate boundary between the north american up here and the pacific plate to the south 4.6 coming in early this morning a little bit of sign of uh, increasing movement up here as well uh, but generally speaking very active here across this area of the eastern pacific and portions of the western pacific out here uh, definitely got to keep an eye on new zealand with this rocking and rolling looks like we do have Hey, uh, is this another 4.8 coming in? 12.58. So yeah, within the last couple minutes here, we got uh, 4.8 New Zealand. So it kind of looks like, folks, this is leading up to something bigger in the area. Always good to be on guard and prepared. Um, I really don't see any main quake yet. Uh, there was that 5.3, but it uh, doesn't look like there's any main quake, you know, as far as like a large magnitude followed up by uh, smaller aftershocks. It just looks very, very active here across New Zealand. And watch that very closely today. Um, I do have a seismograph station keyed up uh, across the Black Stump Farm. That is picking that 4.8 up, it looks like. Uh, maybe bigger, I don't know. Um, let me check here across the USGS map. They're a little slow in, in getting their activity built up. But... Um, the Black Stump Farm area, that seismograph, is right around here, um, south of the, uh, yeah, just south of the uh, Taupo Supervolcano. Uh, and that station there in New Zealand, picking up that earthquake that's coming in rather nicely. Uh, GeoNet, it looks like, is reporting that earthquake in New Zealand as a 4.8. There's been a couple fours, a couple threes, one 5.3, but there's been a lot of activity prior to... Uh, um, prior, well, let, let me see here. Yeah, we had that 4.8 prior to the 5.3. So it's not like we had the 5.3 first and followed up by a bunch of other smaller quakes. This is just kind of leads, uh, kind of looks like it's leading to something bigger, folks. So we'll continue to watch that. Just be on guard today, New Zealand. Uh, across the area of Turkey, obviously seeing quite a bit of activity, quite a few twos and ones. And uh, things are just active, folks. That's that's the key word today. Active Friday. Be prepared. Uh, let's see what we got up here across New Z or um, got New Zealand on my mind. Uh, Yellowstone looks like Yellowstone's kicking back up once again with an earthquake swarm this morning. Um, quite a few earthquakes popping off here. Nothing big. It is showing up across a good portion of the western edge here of the Yellowstone super volcano. Um, let me see if the USGS is reporting anything. 
Well, there's my answer. <laughs> Nothing being reported. It is Friday, and none of these will get reported until probably Monday. But we'll continue to report on them here uh, on this channel. All right. Uh, space weather activity kicking up here a little bit, slightly. Did have, uh, looks like maybe some type of eruptive event peeking up into the M flare category. Not for sure exactly where that's at. Let me see what we got going on here according to the Solar Ham net site um, solar x-rays are currently in the mid to upper c class range following an apparent eruption off the southeast limb uh, there is a new sunspot kicking off here you can just barely see it down here in the southeastern limb there is some beautiful features there of the magnetic structures of that sunspot Let's see if we got a look at it or not barely let me um go to the latest imagery it's going to be this one this is i think the one that we were pointing out last night getting a little bit better shot of some reds blues and orange mixing in there indicating a little bit of a complex structure within that sunspot and apparently that is where we're seeing some active activity currently take place so continue to watch that we do have some filament uh eruptions popping off i don't know if any of these were earth directed basically when a um, line of plasma blows off the sun and gets shot out into space here uh let's see if he mentions anything about that here there we go this is the image looks like it was pos positioned down south here of the center disc of the sun not for sure if that's going to play any part on the three day uh, a large filament located in the southwest quadrant just lifted off and will likely fling <laughs> I like that likely fling some plasma into space uh, looks like the trajectory appears to be uh, mostly south of the sun earth line the sun earth plane uh, however an additional update will be provided once uh, some imagery is reviewed but that's pretty cool nice little shot there uh, either way it looks like things could be getting active again folks interesting and very active out here um, on the sun along with earthquake activity so we'll continue to update uh, later do a little bit better update tonight and um, unless something major happens it's very possible folks with all this activity in new zealand definitely be on earthquake watch down there today with this large scale movement we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on tonight have a good one stay safe out there